Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about layering. There are many different ways to layer things in Toon Boom Harmony. So I'm going to go and explain to you all of those different techniques. Now, I've already uh, pre-drawn four shapes here. And uh, as you can see, the four shapes exist in this drawing node. So the drawing nodes are basically your paper. That's where you draw things. Uh, and if it's not plugged into the composite, you will not be able to see it. So we'll go ahead and plug that in there. Um, and whenever you draw something in Harmony and you paint it, the paint and stroke are separate from each other, meaning that I can grab this stroke and move it and it will be separate from the paint. And you don't want this to happen uh, because, you know, you might clip it accidentally and move it. Uh, so those those things can be annoying. So whenever you draw, uh, when whenever you draw something and you want those things to belong together, you can group them together. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and box select, you know, my paint and my stroke and a little bit of the four. I mean, if I go any further, I'm going to be clipping that green ball, and I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to box select the blue paint, the stroke, and the four here, and uh, I'm going to group those three things together because they are separate, right? The four and the paint and the stroke are separate from each other. So I'm going to box select, I'm going to right click and I'm going to go down here to group. And we can see here there's another uh, group and we can see the shortcut for that is control G. So <clears throat> now this whole thing is grouped together. I'm going to do the same thing for this green ball. Uh, but this time I'm going to use a different technique. I'm going to click and then I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to click on the paint and I'm also going to click on the three here. Try that again. Oh, I had already grouped that together. So um, I've grouped this together, but the three remains ungrouped. So I'm going to ungroup this green ball. I'm going to go, I'm going to right click on it, go down to group. And then I'm going to go to ungroup, which is control shift G for the shortcut. So now I've ungrouped that. So now I'm going to group all of these three things together. I'm going to just use the shortcut control G. And now we can see that uh, the whole thing is grouped together. I'm going to do the same thing for this. Uh, I'm going to ungroup these two control shift G. Uh, and then I'm going to group all of these things together. Control G. And we can see that when I grouped it, it came to the front. And uh, let's do the same thing for this white ball here. I'm going to group all of that. Control G. And now we've got all of this. Now, I would like the two to go behind the one. So there are different ways of doing that. So we can right click and we can go to we can go to um, arrange and we can go to send backwards and uh, we can see that the three is still there I would like the two to be behind the three so I'm gonna go here again I'm gonna go to uh, right click and go to arrange and then uh, send backward which is control page down is the shortcut so that's good but now I would like the one to go behind the two. So I'm going to use, um, I would like to use the shortcut now. So control page down is the shortcut. So I'm going to hold control and use page down. And you'll, you'll have to press it a couple times because uh, you, you'll you notice that it's going behind each one. And if I press control page up, it comes back to the front. So control page up comes forward and control page down sends them to the back. Um, there are other ways of layering things like if I want the two and the one to come to the front, I can cut them and paste them and they will automatically come to the front. So that's a little hack. I'm just going to cut them, control X and control V like Victor to paste. And we can see that they are now in front. I can do the same thing with this. Cut it, control X and control V, and now it's in the front. So you could use these different uh, methods.
control X and control V uh, to layer things as such. There. Uh, so this is one way of layering those objects. And you can see right here, this is my art layer. Let's just zoom in on that. So this is your art layers, okay? And right now, we've got this one. This is the line art. So overlay, line art, color art, and under layer. And um, right now, this one is highlighted because I'm working in that layer. So there are, um, maybe we can uh, separate those into those four layers. So I'm going to cut this one and I'm going to click on my overlay here and you can see that I can I can still see these guys here um, but if I go in over here and I click on my uh, light table and my current drawing on top they will disappear and now I'll, I'll only be able to see what's inside this layer now I'm gonna paste the number one ball control V and then I'm gonna go back to the line art here and I'm going to grab the three and the four. I'm going to cut them out. And I'm going to go and paste them in the color art layer here. So I'm just going to paste them, control V. And I'm going to do the same thing with this uh, ball. Number four, I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to go and paste it in this layer, the under layer, control V. Now I can jump from one layer to another and see the different uh, balls here. Now, if I would like to see all of these layers at the same time, I can just click on the Preview All Art Layers button here. And now I can see them all at the exact same time. So that's another way if you wanted to layer certain things. Uh, this just allows you to work on one thing without having any other thing in the way. Um, so if I wanted to draw more things here. I don't have to look at everything at the same time. Uh, that's what that is for. Uh, there are more uses for that for rigging, but I guess more on that later. So this is another way to layer. Now there is another way uh, to layer, and that is inside the node view here. So we could have um, different drawing nodes, for one for each one. So I'm going to go ahead and create more drawing nodes. There are uh, different ways of getting more drawing nodes. You can go up to, um, is it, uh, I never really use this drop down menu, but I just want to show it for There is a way to get a drawing node with this drop down menu, but I really never use it. I always use the shortcut, which is Control R. Um, so, and there is also this uh, this right here, which I showed in the other video is the add a drawing layer it's that little button there it's so tiny if you click on that you're going to get this little menu um, but i prefer the control r which is the shortcut so if you're you have to have your mouse hovering in the node view for this to happen so control r will bring up the little menu here and then i can call this drawing node number two i can add it here it is. I'm going to add another one, number three. I'm going to add it. And they keep adding them on top of each other, which is a little, it's a little odd uh, because sometimes you you might be looking for the other node, but it's, and you can see it's kind of hidden there. Uh, and I'm going to create another one, number four, and then I'm going to close this. Um, so now you want to, you know, arrange things. Um, it's kind of a mess here, so what we can do is we can box select all of these drawing nodes and go up here 
to the uh, align nodes horizontally. Now, if you don't have this menu up here, you have to right click in this little gray area right here and choose node view. And you're, you're going to get those little extra buttons. Now, once I click on that, you're going to see that the drawing nodes are nice and neat. Uh, they just, they're all lined up. And uh, I'm going to need to plug those in there because otherwise we won't be able to see anything. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in my overlayer and um, that's going to be drawing number one. So I'm going to call that number one. And I'm going to go over here to my line art and I'm going to cut this one out. And I'm going to go ahead and paste it in this drawing node. Control, and you have to have your mouse hover if you're going to be cutting and pasting things. You have to have your mouse hover over the correct window. So I'm going to paste that, Control V. Uh, then I'm going to go back in this one here. And I'm going to go back in the color art layer. And I'm going to cut this one out, Control X. I'm going to select this one because I want to paste it into this paper. I'm going to bring my mouse back over here and paste it, Control V. And I'm going to go back to this one into the under layer and I'm going to cut this one out and I'm going to go and paste it into drawing number four. So now um, I'm going to click on on preview all art layers because I want to see all of the art layers in all of these papers here. And so now if I jump from one to the other, you can see that um, there's only that one drawing inside each one of those things. Uh, so if I turn this uh, this uh, light table off here, I'll be able to see just like we would see it uh, if we made a little quick time movie here. So now this is the other way to layer things. The way the wires are in order here from left, you're going to have that be on top and whatever is on the right will be in the back. So just by, just by switching those wires around, you'll see that I can bring the one at the very back behind all of these, just by unplugging it and plugging it back here. Now the one is behind all of these things here. And we could do the same thing with two. Now two is behind everything, and three is now behind everything, and now we're back to four being behind everything. So you can layer things as such just by having things uh, in the wires uh, differently. Now, this may be, you know, if you're new to Harmony, this might be a lot to take in. Um, that's why I, I'm only going to leave it at that for this particular lesson. Uh, and this is a way for you to maybe um, go in and practice moving things from the art layers within each one and try to move things within the drawing nodes within the wires uh, and and just have fun sort of layering things back and forth like that so um yeah i don't want this lesson to be too long so i'll stop there and i will see you in the next lesson please like share and subscribe